Hi, welcome to my new mini-series. We're going to be talking about how to improve your art today, specifically color combinations. To start off with, we'll talk about the analogous scheme. And so what that is, it's, it's uh, any colors on the color wheel that are right next to each other. So what I've chosen, I've chosen colors from blue to yellow, and then everything in between there. So you can see in this one, we've got a blue sky, blue mountains, green trees, and most of the yellow is in the ground. And then another thing you might notice is there's actually quite a bit of, of uh, red and browns in there as well. The truth, you're never really going to get too pure of a color scheme. And if you do, chances are that it could be very boring. So don't limit yourselves too much, but just think of the color scheme as a way to promote harmony in your painting. So for instance, the analogous color scheme works very well when you're trying to create one solidified mood, which could be a calming mood using blues, yellows, and greens. It could be an intense mood, such as with a fiery sunset, and uh, it could even be something maybe a little more melancholy if you went towards just the blues and maybe a couple purples. So let's move on here. We're going to go back to our color wheel and then we're going to explode out the next scheme. So the complementary scheme starts off with two opposite colors from the color wheel. I've chosen green and red. Now I want to extend this a little bit so I'm also going to use the colors right next to each of my complementary colors. Basically what I get is a split complementary scheme. In this case, almost a full color wheel. The advantage of this is it doesn't limit me to just two colors. It allows me a full range. What you see when you look at this painting here is primarily a muted green, browns, and reds. In the background is some purple and uh, that's where it's important to have additional colors added. But what you don't see is a strong purple, so we've uh, taken that color out and we're focusing on red versus green. And there's also yellow in there. And w you know, without all these colors it wouldn't be as strong as it is. So if these colors go back down to the color wheel, once again we can pick a different scheme this time what I want to look at is the monochromatic scheme. So if I pull up my blue, what I can get is uh, anything from a dark value to a light value. Something like say a foggy seascape or a night scene might be very well suited for monochromatic. In this painting you can see lots of purples, blues, blacks, some turquoise, and even up in the sky some grays which compared to the blue looks warm. And that brings up another excellent point. When you're painting with a color scheme, you want to think in terms of warm and cool colors. Anytime that you can layer warm and cool colors, you create a more vibrant scene. So in the sky here, we have cool grays against warm grays. In the background rocks, we have warm grays against cool gray foregrounds. And basically what you get with a mon monochromatic scheme is something with highly intense detail that's focused on shapes primarily because you're talking about value contrast. You're no longer talking so much about the colors of the scene. You're talking about how do the, sh how do the shapes become rendered and how do we identify what is that shape. So the last one I want to talk about is just a prismatic scheme which includes all colors and you know this one can be applied to anything and that's what I want to leave with because you'll see that usually you're looking for a prismatic scene that's biased towards a different color scheme. That's the thing, you don't want to ever limit yourself too much. So, happy painting.